Welcome to the Jordan Banks Show, y'all. I am Jordan Banks, the king of urban podcast, y'all. I always make that claim. I'm going to keep on doing it, y'all. But I still got my homie in here with me. My cuz, my brother. Big cuz. What up, big cuz and John? How you living, boy? You know what it do. You know what it do. Hey, hey. We back in here for another episode, y'all. Uh, where they do that at? You know what I'm saying? Where they do that at? I don't know, cuz. I don't know, cuz. We ask that question every day. Where they do that at? We out here, we looking around, we saying, man, where they do that at? Man, still ain't got an answer. I, I still don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Where, where they do that at? But still we try to answer. dive in there, yeah. ask the question to ourselves. Maybe somebody out there can help us and tell us. Where they do that at? Hey, don't be scared to chime in. Hey, because hey. I, I, I don't know yet, man. Hey. Well, I'm going to start out with something good. Okay. What's up? A lot of people say good. Okay. Chris Rock may feel different. <laughs> Bad <laughs> Boys debuted. Okay. $104 million worldwide. That's Exceeded expectations already. That's what's up. The movie only costs, well, not only, but it costs $100 million to make. So Everything already. else is profit right now, baby. Right, it's all you know, green. That joint going on all summer. Yeah. So uh, they probably looking at another two, three, uh, four hundred million dollars. I you know, I, I heard it wasn't bad, man. I heard it was pretty good. I I don't know how you can make one of those bad. The the premise of the show is so good. Yeah. Right. Right now, the best one to me was still the second one. Mm-hmm. But you know, they all went bad though. You know, they, they I'm a little concerned watch, about Martin. <laughs> Yeah, he movie. made a few appearances, right? And they were trying to say he okay. He came out trying to do a little dance. I said, now either he's so he's suffering from some type of stroke or something recently, and I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But it ain't point to looking right. Maybe he recovered from something that he just not seen. Uh, but ah, that 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 ain't that Martin, right? Like. Right. And I, I don't, I don't you It's know. like he don't even have the same energy, same vibe. Yeah. Yeah. He so. ain't that old. Right. I mean, go, what, him and Will 60? still. I think they're early 60s. Probably ain't even 60 yet. No, I think he, I think they're early 60s. Really? I don't know. Don't have me lying. I, I'm nah, looking at I mean, like this. So. He's still full of, you know. Yeah, he still that. should be feel full of life, you know. Yeah. Man. Look at Steve Harvey, ball head ass running around. He's yeah. to right 70. Yeah, if anybody can do it, if he can do it, anybody <laughs> Yeah, but I, I had a little concern for Martin. You know, I hope right. I, I, I hope and pray he all right. Yeah, uh, but he's, uh, he's supposed to be here late on this year. We'll see. Yeah, I, I saw it. I, I wanted saw to, it. I wanted to go. You know, I, I've always liked this uh, comedy. Or whatever, so, <sighs> bro, I, I, yeah, I saw it, and I'm like, is he gonna make it? I don't know, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> well, a lot of buffoonery going on this past week, man. Uh, <laughs> These folks, you know, I, I'm so sick of them, man. This is Representative Donalds. Everybody want to be Trump VP. <laughs> they selling, they sold, their kids and everything else. Right. This, this Negro, he comes out, he goes to a rally, he talks about how the black family was more together during Jim Crow. The black family was voting conservatively during Jim Crow. He got up there with all this foolishness, bro. Jim, how could you mention Jim Crow and talk about how good times was? <laughs> there was no good times. Take a vote for conservative because they had no choice. <laughs> talking about how the families uh, uh, broke up during this LBJ, this this New Deal with America and black men. No, but what what they don't talk about, bro. Doing Jim Crow You know how many black men Doing Jim Crow and slavery How many black men Had to run and leave their family There Because of threat of violence right. Because of something Some white person made up on them And they had to run And basically leave their entire family Right Now this is doing slavery Jim Crow All of that So you, you didn't find nothing wrong with that mm. Right And you talking about voting Bro the people that could vote, we was, they were stopping us from voting. It was a control vote. <laughs> you vote the way we tell you to vote. You don't vote All right, come take a test, <laughs> take a literacy test, take right. this test, take that, that test, or you just ain't voting. Period. Whatever. Right. We are gonna block the doors. Yeah. This is what happened doing Jim Crow, fool. And he's sitting up there with a white woman 
a conservative activist and his black monkey ass just up there just smiling and cheesing. Bro, you know nothing about what it is to be black since you left Brooklyn probably. <laughs> I guess you left some hard times and figured you just erase it out of your memory. Now you kowtow into Donald Trump. Yeah. How much of a sellout are you? Boy, I, 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 don't, I don't understand these people, man. I, I, all money ain't. It, it's, just, it's just. God. Yeah. How could you be a man living on your knees like that all your life? <laughs> because it ain't the money. You've lost your manhood, bro. You and Tim Scott. Mm-hmm. Both of y'all have lost y'all manhood over this man. Like, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Would they even be relevant if they weren't doing that? I don't know. No. I, I've just heard both of them speak. And it's like- you know what? If they could just go be good black. Elected senators and representatives. I don't even care that. I mean, the simple fact that you're Republican, just be true. I don't care about that. Yeah, because I, like I said, I've, I've known some uh, Republicans to do some good things. I'm yeah. not sitting there saying they've done everything bad. I would never say that it, 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 because it, I've known some Democrats to do some bad things. It's Representative Donalds, Senator Tim Scott, mm-hmm. and Supreme Court Justice Thomas, <laughs> and all of them got them white women. <laughs> Steering they nah, you love who you love, but ain't that a quinky dink? <laughs> they call that a quinky dink in the hood. <laughs> oh y'all, got, even Ice Cube. I'm like Cat Williams. They run off and get them light skinned red. Ice Cube was one of the first ones to have one of the red ladies. <laughs> I guess they saw his platinum plan for America, and they all in. I don't know. <laughs> this nigga, y'all. <sighs> That, you know what That's that's why I think Democrats uh, You liberal Whatever You have to be careful Because Trump can win this thing Yeah That's true Y'all keep saying He ain't gonna win But we said that in 16 mm-hmm. But see The 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 crazies are out They don't care no more They got a girl On On, on the internet now She just spouting out Nigga White girl She ain't taking it back Freedom of speech <laughs> They emboldened now Yeah See, yeah. she just ain't ran across the right nigga. Right. Because <laughs> there's a difference between that nigger and, and a nigga. nigga. <laughs> there's a difference between a nigga. <laughs> er, er, uh. Did you say er? Did you say er? Nigger? You don't want the nigga. <laughs> you want the nigger. Yeah. I'm the nigger. Yeah, yeah. I'm Man. the nigger. They just emboldened and right. feeling strong, <laughs> and, and, and and this is gonna have to stop. Yeah, absolutely, it's gonna have to stop, man. So y'all be careful, man. Trump could win this thing, man. Yeah, I, I, I I'm trying to tell Jordan Banks is telling you way back in June, man. I'm trying to tell you y'all gonna have to vote because a lot of these, even these stupid niggas <laughs> and niggas. <laughs> have been brainwashed. Yep. They think they got another twelve hundred coming with your broke ass. <laughs> you can sell yourself for twelve hundred for four years. Imagine how much that is, sir. What's that? A penny an hour? <laughs> You're gonna sell out your people for twelve hundred dollars? Right. That that ain't three hundred dollars a year, is it? No. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go to the strip club one time with one sexy red concert, get one pair of Timberlands, a, a pit bull, all your money gone. Cause that's all y'all gonna do. <laughs> that's all y'all gonna do. One weave and it's gone. It's done. That, that, that. I understand you, mother. But I'm gonna move on, bro. Cause I don't that. Yeah. Oh man, talking about how you could take a beating. Adrian Broner went in to get Blair the flare. Cobb, <laughs> woo! He says he's the most electrified man <laughs> in boxing. He pretty much a sea level fighter. I guess he got electrified. That, that left hand did though, cause <laughs> the knocked the shit out of Adrian Bro. <laughs> that motherfucker came up with a tooth gone. <laughs> Which way did he go? Which the way tooth did he fairy go? was in the ring that right. night. <laughs> Which one of y'all hit me? <laughs> <laughs> Man, bro, you know what's crazy? And I'm so glad that brother won. That brother ain't just win. He whooped that dude ass. He whooped old boy ass for 10, 12 rounds. I have a long win. I lost count because <laughs> I was impressed by Blair because I, I saw the discipline in him going up and down and staying in his game plan. But you could tell he's no more than a C level fighter. Right. Maybe B. Uh, but WBC named him the. 
people's champ. You know, that's <laughs> okay, rock. <laughs> whatever that comes with. <laughs> right. <laughs> all the bills are this. It comes with your signed Don King, which <laughs> I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he whooped his ass, but you know what's so scary? Because boxing is my favorite sport, right? Mm-hmm. It's the most dangerous sport. You know, that MAA. But it's a sport where people tend to lie to you the most. <laughs> Adrian Broner, you ain't got it. Mm-mm. The timing it takes, the endurance, you still came in a little flabby. They had to break you to get the weight down to get you to 147. Um, you came in your career thinking you was Floyd, let everybody fill your head up. You was all about the billions, all about this, all about that. Now you're just all about broke. <laughs> and you still saying you could be world champ. Mm-hmm. You as delusional as Evander Holyfield at 49 or 50. It's over. Yeah. You as delusional as Roy Jones out there keep going. It's over. Floyd Mayweather, you as delusional. Even though Floyd technically 50 and 0, mm-hmm. bro, you're going to be on one of these exhibitions and they're going to whoop your ass. I'm scared for Floyd with this exhibition he got coming up with old boy that he he, he knocked, I forgot old boy name, he knocked out after old boy hit him with his head. Oh, uh, I know. I, oh, you don't rather tip of my tongue. I know you're talking about that. Yeah, because old boy got speed and power. Right. And he might say, fuck this exhibition. I remember what that nigga did. Right. <laughs> like, I, I, I wish he would stop doing it. I mean, you do what you want to do. I'm. It's making a lot of money. But it, I man, it is making a lot of money. Just man. protect the legacy, man. Can we have nothing? That's just like Mike, man. Look, just, just call this, man. Yeah, it's like Mike coming out to play right now. Come on, man. Yeah, just call no, this dog. It ain't no, worth it. <laughs> no. It, it, when, it's, when it's over, it's over. Right. Hopefully, you built it up like Floyd and some other people and made your money, got a company, or whatever it mm-hmm. is. But I think a lot of these guys, they done messed up the money. Then they got, they got a few million left, and then they married. Bro, to take that. the time went faster than they thought. Oh, yep. Because once you hit that level of boxing, you ain't boxing every month. You boxing maybe once a year, twice mm-hmm. a year. And, and that, I really, that I really thirty think that million. Was bad. I really think that was bad for Mike. Yeah, because remember, Mike was fighting almost every two or three weeks when he was first coming up. That's how he rose through the ranks so quick. It was like every three weeks to a month. Yeah, but once I you, remember that one year he fought what eleven times yeah. in one year. But once you at that elite level, you ain't fighting like that. Nah. So that twenty thirty million you made minus taxes, mm-hmm. half of that. You got the that got the last. Right. And you got everybody on you, and these guys now we see everybody got on big jewelry. Mm-hmm. Flashy, yeah, you know. Everybody want to drive five hundred thousand dollar car, man. Everybody ain't Floyd though. Floyd got to a point in his career where he's making a hundred million a fight, right? Three hundred million in one fight. Yep. Like that's the, you know, everybody ain't getting that. <laughs> so, <laughs> like Floyd they, they said, just, a lot of these cats living check to check. And they, and they think they are Because they in the boxing world And they on TV yeah. And I really think They don't realize The time that goes by Time right. goes by fast And boxing is somewhere Where man You you could lose Them skills overnight mm-hmm. You be the baddest Motherfucker in the world Some Next fight fights They make you pay for man Just that to me man They can't yeah. put that on, on That ain't worth it And these guys now Won't even fight the top guys No way Nope So it really don't matter I, I'm, I'm so sick of they it They wait they, they know they gonna lose So they wait till that Major payday come Then they accept the fight Cause yeah. they know they gonna Get their ass with I'm so sick of it Make you wanna run man Yeah Well if you're gonna run bro Let me tell you something What's that uh, Top 8 cities People are moving to Okay this list though, I'm 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 pretty sure. Number eight, Knoxville, Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Knoxville, Nashville. Yeah. yeah. Number seven, Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Number six, Raleigh Dorm. Yeah. North Carolina, her mm-hmm. big. Number five, Charlotte, North Carolina. I thought they would be a little higher, but yeah. Number four, Greenville, North Carolina. I didn't know that. We going home. <laughs> I'm sick of y'all. Number three, Houston. <laughs> them niggas. <laughs> now them some niggas. Yeah. <laughs> Number two, depending on how you pronounce it, down there in Florida, Ocala, Ocala, Florida. Okay. Number one, know somebody out there right now, Myrtle Beach, South <sighs> Carolina. I love it. Love it. I love it, bro. I love it. Sound like a mistrip. <laughs> <laughs> Love it sounds like all vacation to me. Yeah, yeah, but the, the, these none of these are a surprise to me, especially in North Carolina. I no. know 
Charlotte, uh, man. I'm telling you, yeah. I love that. That's my favorite city. I, it's I, a lot of people say. And it's a lot of black people. Very clean, very new, almost yeah. new. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's spread out, you know. Well, you know, of yeah, course, yeah, I, yeah. I, last year I went and, and oh, yeah, man, I love it. Love yeah. It. So, that's <laughs> what it is. But we'll, we'll keep on traveling, bro. And they got all the major sports there, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Surprisingly. Yeah, yeah they build it. Yeah. I mean, come on. They still the South. Mm-hmm. So them, them boys thing, still play now. Yeah, I think the only thing they missing is the baseball team. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but them boys still play, man. Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, like I said, it's still the South. Yeah. But we keep on traveling, bro. We're gonna go over to that Congo or Napka. <laughs> Have you ever heard of MC Baba? Bye bye? Baba. Not bye bye, Baba. Baba. What the fuck is that? Well, uh, bro, <laughs> he ain't never heard of you neither. <laughs> you know why? Well, he the country's first mute rapper, making a lot of noise over there. Hey, all he says, ah, 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 ah. if y'all see this, I'm laughing in silence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, bro, Pearly going viral. I'm laughing. I guess so. He can look at me and be he, like that. He's definitely mute. Yeah, that's all he do is <laughs> sound, like a, sound like a sheep. <laughs> yeah, so you ain't heard of him He ain't heard of you <laughs> I will not take it personal MC uh, Bye bye well, well, yeah, Good luck with your career man <laughs> Wherever it leads you In the words of a famous boy band over here Bye 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 <laughs> <laughs> I bet y'all the farm animals know what he's saying <laughs> I, 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 Hey have you get it bro Hey if they paying for it go with it <laughs> Cause some, I ain't even mad at you Some dumb mother paying for it so <laughs> He'll make your money best way you can <laughs> You probably I, yeah. walking around with gold chains Bye <laughs> <laughs> Hey congratulations Baba <laughs> well, uh, We talking about that boxing They talk about Mike Tyson Now you know they moved the Mike Tyson and Jake Paul fight To November 15th Right that's Let me a tell long you way off, off, the, off top of that too That shit ain't gonna happen I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you man Just call it quits man Jake Paul punk ass Need to just get another opponent Right Ryan Garcia said He'll step in Right He don't want that He don't want to fight No real boxer Mm-mm. He don't want to do A couple a couple boxers Real I boxers mean, he was He was already treading On dangerous waters Fighting Mike Cause <laughs> yeah. if Mike catch you That's the thing You could try to tie him out But if Mike catch you Bro, this is why you shouldn't be fighting a sixty year old. <laughs> right. At any moment he could have complications. Uh, like uh, uh, who was that uh, uh come on uh, man. Who was that uh, George Foreman? George yeah. uh, when he got the heavyweight champ, he was not winning that fight. Yeah. Off technical box, he just ended up catching it. He caught dude. that boy. Yeah. But uh <laughs> hey, he wasn't sixty. No. But you could tell he was done. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, yeah, he was done. He said he still had a punch his chance, right? Like Mike do, but this is why you don't go and set up a fight for a sixty year old. They ain't gonna move. This shit ain't gonna happen, man. Right, man, go and get another opponent. But see now, he has to get a boxer because Mike was the closest thing to a real boxer he was gonna get. But mm-hmm. Mike was forty years old to him, so right. now what he gonna do? Absolutely, call out Andre Ward. <laughs> Call out some of these boxes, bro. You, th- I don't. Yeah, okay. He white, Absolutely. These white boys think they slick. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna beat up on our old men. <laughs> God, I'll whoop his ass. Crazy. Well, uh, uh, a little more sports in this thing, bro. This is crazy to me now. Mm-hmm. You know, the Green Bay Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles are gonna go to Brazil to do a game. I think it's like the first week. Right. Well, NFL security has warned them about wearing green. Why? Both teams are basically fucking green. Green oh. Bay? Oh. Philly? Eagles? <laughs> right. <laughs> because of the gangs. Right, right. So they said most likely they'll spend all week in the hotel mm. and they'll have to move and travel via armored vehicles. Now, why would I want to take my rich black ass down there? Because I understand people, black men, and shit, they go mm-hmm. to Brazil. But when you a known commodity, then gangs can target you. Right. See, if I went down there on rich, they don't know me. They, right. You know, whatever. You can move. But being a star. They know exactly you are. Yeah. So they could target you. So they say they're going to most likely have to move around in armored vehicles and they'll be spending all week in a hotel. They'll probably just be sending women through and. Plenty of Plenty of ooh Because <laughs> I ain't staying In the hotel all week In, in Brazil 
to sit around and just cause it's be a talk and I just rather not go. Right. Yeah, I fly in Friday and play the game Sunday and leave out. And leave. I ain't staying in no place like that. Right. I can't move around. Can't do nothing. I ain't bring my family. Nothing. You can't bring your family then. You right. target. So that that's kind of crazy. And I thought the NFL. Even, God, I said, even, wow. And they ain't even guaranteed they're gonna even finish the game where they the way they act down there. No, nah, bro. Know. Ain't no guarantee about nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't just that was, ain't no that guarantee. Was, that was a bad spot for a game. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of travel. And I was trying to tell somebody, man, they get a lot of stuff through airports, drugs, guns, a lot of stuff. And they tried to tell me about the TSA and all that. I said, no, nah, they get a lot of stuff gets through. Well, according to reports and law enforcement, LAX and L.A. is considered the top drug hub in the world. I believe it. Because you ain't got TSA on luggage. You, bro, you can't catch all the stuff that's Come coming. Through. Right. You can't. And, and, and even if you did or you try, they got people employed there. Yeah. You know? It gets through. The narcos and all the people, they got people, they people's working there. Mm-hmm. So it get through. No matter how it happened, get through. They got murders on the payroll, judges, everybody. Right. It's getting through. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just what it is in America. If America really wanted to stop the drug traffic and the flow, they could. Thing. But you you know what drugs do though When people get hooked on drugs Things like that It gives pharmacies a chance to come up with different drugs So they don't It's too much of a money maker It's not just the money people make off drugs Because that ain't being taxed Unless it's weed now And you right. get a dispensary But heroin Meth all these things They lead to other things uh, The expiration of other drugs uh, Open up facilities uh, even people who open their homes and they set up like a home where four or five people could stay, the government pay them. Right. It's too much money in drug trafficking. It really is. They'll never stop it because it's. They'll never quite stop it because it's too much money. I'm sorry, and, and the politicians always somehow find a way to get it cut. So, yeah. Always. So. Yeah, that 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 weed. That said, and I see we, that's great. Growing, we we can set up dispensaries for that. <laughs> see that crack? People grow, go cook that. You can kill yourself. Right. Just like fentanyl, you can blow some shit. You know what I mean? Right. So you can't really control it the way you want to. But that weed, you just packing that. That's crazy. Adding all type of BS to it, but it's more controlled. Right. But bro, I'm telling you, mm-hmm. that's the way it go. Well, um, a lot of people's favorite podcast, Joe Rogan, the Joe Rogan Experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, I tried to watch Joe a few times just for pointers, techniques. Right. It's a big show. Right. Of course, I'm going to look at it and say, man, what are you talking about? What are you doing? How are you moving? Nothing special about the show. A lot of conspiracy theories. <laughs> That's what I see. Right. That's why I can't watch it because Joe seems kind of racist to me. <laughs> He seemed kind of racist. He seemed kind of racist, bro. Mm-hmm. He believed whatever MAGA say. He one of them people. Oh, okay. So you know they came out with a thing. A guy who was known to be uh, a big uh, person who does pranks and, and, and trolling and stuff. He came out with a thing talking about the Trump trial. And when I tell you, MAGA world picked it up. All they. TV stations, Joe Rogan handed it all them. Oh, this is gonna be a mistrial. One of the jurors told they people that Trump was going to get convicted. And this was before the conviction happened. Mm-hmm. No, no, it was the bomb. Totally. Nobody investigated anything. They just ran with it. <laughs> it was a guy who does this stuff all the time. He had a fake letter from the judge and everything. Talking about, they talking about the judge sent the letter to Trump and to the, the, the prosecution saying this happened and Oh, I'm have to come back in. It's gonna be a mistrial, and they all on TV. Oh, they're like some going off. It's gonna be a mistrial. They ain't tried to review shit. <laughs> What's wrong with people, man? They just got it in Joe, or he one of the first ones on it. Hey. Oh, look like it's trouble. I call them. I call them throne theories. That's that. That's the shit they come up with on the shit. Yeah, I call them throne theories. Mm, sitting there, what? <laughs> sitting on the throne, coming up with theories. Here they go, John. <laughs> mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And they ain't wipe their hands. They ain't, <laughs> no, they ain't they wipe, they the wipe the ass yeah. and put the pen in the hand and yeah, them, them throne theories. What's that? So just just so y'all know, 
anybody, and it don't matter, black or white. Like ah, <laughs> yeah, black or white. Ah, sit on the toilet, come up with your shit. That's those are throne theories. Black on shit, man. I just thought of some shit. <laughs> throne theories. Y'all need to quit, man. Yep. So Joe Rogan, and I, I sometimes Joe talk about some good stuff, but some, but it's clear that this white boy racist. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. I know you like the number one podcast or whatever. I was looking up to you. I said, man, I wish I could do some stuff like that. Like, Joe just, he ain't even got nothing big, ain't nothing fancy. He got a ragged-ass ACDC t-shirt on. <laughs> yeah, her gone and losing him. on car. He just out there with his bald head, shucking and ducking it for the white folks and doing what they do. He, he don't like niggas. <laughs> Facts. Well, bro, uh, we get into a very interesting point, but uh, we go we gonna start this one out, bro. Uh, we gonna start off with a little Surprise, <laughs> watch party. Who, who we gotta watch, <laughs> ah, bro, bro, bro. Uh, well, I tell you, <laughs> uh, in this one, bro, I, I I I've sent some letters out. Mm-hmm. I sent them to the White House. Mm-hmm. Maybe they could forward them on. I sent some down there at Mar-a-Lago, but I don't know where she at. Oh, Melania shit. Trump. Oh, shit. We need to watch this Salvanian slut at all times. <laughs> Why this, you got to be a slut, man? This Salvanian spy. <laughs> <laughs> Mighty funny how she disappeared when a little trouble come. Well, you a male or the bride. You, you paid to stand her. Right. You paid to hold that man's hand. She, 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 she. Yeah, she ain't got over here and got bougie. <laughs> I'm not going. I'd not touch your hand. <laughs> I'd have reached back and pimp slip. <laughs> this what you paid for. Mm-hmm. I done paid Stormy. I done paid that one, that one, and you going to act funny. Right. You you paid to sit there and deal with my BS. <laughs> no matter what happened, you both said, I love Twop. <laughs> my daddy. <laughs> but then want to stand there with him. Say, I don't trust a man. You left a man who put you in the gold castle. Mm-hmm. We ain't seen you. <laughs> you left a man who was the most powerful man in the world. Yes, he has a mushroom penis. It ain't no good. You can cheat with the Secret Service. But you left the most powerful man in America. Where you been? Where you at? <laughs> he didn't got your parent citizenship. Got your artistic kid graduated from high school. <laughs> you call him autistic <laughs> He look like Why you talking about parents like that man <laughs> He grown that <laughs> <laughs> Overseas baby <laughs> All these things And you ain't been seen What you doing What you up to I don't trust it <laughs> See Russia to move some ships closer You you giving coordinates You got any of them papers Trump had <laughs> I, 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 I gotta, I gotta watch you, baby. So yeah, watch her. I gotta watch Melania <laughs> Trump, y'all. She ain't fooling me. <laughs> y'all be surprised all y'all want, but I tell y'all what, we got a new old part of the show right here. Oh shit! I'm, I'm, I'm glad to get to it, baby. <laughs> oh shit! Because because it's unlocked, y'all. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Because it's unlocked. Happy out, bro. Go all right, ahead. All right now. Um, as most of y'all about to find out that uh, I'm ignorant, I think of some stupid shit. That's probably the reason why I'm on here because uh, my 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 responses are. What are you doing that? <laughs> so my ignorance comes you from something I'm going through right now. Mm. So you know when you had those toothaches. <laughs> Nigga said toothache. Yeah, you had a toothache. I thought you, know, you had bigger problems with that. You know, you had toothaches. No, no, okay. I mean, this, this is something that everybody go through. They might not want to admit it. It's your thing. Yeah, they might not want to admit it. They going to act bougie about it. I mean, but you know, you can leave your comments with a but They going to act bougie about it. Yeah. But you had them toothaches, right? Yeah. Now, everybody knows them toothaches be some of the worst things that ever come. Mm-hmm. You can't wait to get rid of them. Mm-mm. But... Be sitting on the couch, and most most brothers can understand this. It ain't females too; they just won't don't want to admit it, and let that ass walk by. Is, is you worried about that tooth day? My question is: You still gonna get you some ass, although that tooth hurt? <laughs> See, I'm that motherfucking fuck that tooth. This gonna hurt regardless. I'm, I'm gonna get me some, but you get most motherfuckers that just want to sit there and you know babysit the tooth. Damn the tooth. 
<laughs> I got other needs right now. <laughs> so I just want to know how many people, and it's female too, <laughs> how many people let that ass just walk on by? Oh, God. I'm not. <laughs> I got a hook. Bring that ass back here. <laughs> I'm pulling you by your collar. <laughs> I'm tripping you so you can fall on your knees. No, <laughs> whatever it takes. <laughs> so if you walk and try to run away, just look at that side twelve going to trip you. You're going to fall right where I want you to be. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Fuck that, too. <laughs> we'll deal with that tomorrow. <laughs> right now, we're going to handle this. I mean, can't you get some kind of satisfaction? I mean, your tooth ain't going to stop hurting. Mm. I'm just sitting there saying, you know, you can act bougie with it if you want to. <laughs> I'm just being real. <laughs> if you with me, I pull the two tomorrow. <laughs> I'm getting that ass tonight. <laughs> and I'm just saying, America, it ain't nothing to be ashamed of. You're just being human. Mm. Don't run from the booty because you're two third. <laughs> <laughs> you can deal with both. Just, <laughs> a little pain ain't never hurt nobody. <laughs> so, so I'm just saying, I just it's just a little segment where my ignorance comes out. You can leave the comments, but I guarantee you. It's going to be a bunch of niggas say, you know what, man? I feel you. Fuck that, too. <laughs> All right, cut. Cuz a lot. I th- how you go from hurting tooth to get some ass? I don't know. See, I'm, see. That's what I'm talking about, man. You, you can't, you can't, you, you, you can't deal with, some people can't deal with my ignorance. See, I, I thought you were going to tell something to help us. <laughs> Everything I say ain't always political. I'm just, I keep it real. Yeah, that's real. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to say, cuz. I'm just saying. Just don't, don't, don't run from the ass. I'm telling you. Uh, cuz a lie. I can't wait till next week, goddamn. Uh, they gonna, <laughs> like, if, you, if you're ever in the forest, grab a fluffy white rabbit and just wipe your ass. What? Hey, 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 hey that might be. talking about camping. That, 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 that might be next week. Top, you never know. Okay. <laughs> you just gonna go left on me. Well, uh, oh, mm-hmm. time to push another button, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. You gonna follow? Man, what master class gonna follow that? Ah, I ain't got much, bro. <laughs> well, uh, this this master class is uh. <laughs> Called uh, Jimmy Crow and Uncle Sam Or the original pop culture gay couple <laughs> That's uh, Jimmy Crow and Uncle Sam <laughs> <laughs> I tell y'all There's uh, so much going on this week And everybody talking about Jim Crow And the black man Everybody know what's good for the black man Everybody know which way the black man gonna vote Everybody speaking for the black man and woman And we as just everyday folk Ain't really got to say <laughs> well, MAGA, here's why we're not with you. Because MAGA is really Jim Crow. Right? Mm-hmm. MAGA's Uncle Sam. Y'all married. Y'all two males, but y'all married. Y'all against it on the outside, <laughs> but on the inside, you're loving it. <laughs> we can't break y'all up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't want none of mama apple pie Nah Mm-mm. Ain't good enough <laughs> Y'all the type that like to eat Chicken pot pie <laughs> <laughs> You call me crazy <laughs> I was just saying <laughs> Just no JB crawl uh, crazy. <laughs> Uncle Sam and Jim Crow Y'all done crawled in the bed together And mm-hmm. Y'all holding hands and starting to spoon now he, he didn't got the marriage right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but I'm crazy. <laughs> but, uh, I'll just say we ain't here for it. We can't be with y'all. Of course, there's going to be a few scragglers, a few scrugglers. <laughs> Representative Donalds, Clarence Thomas, folk we don't want no way. Right. You know, first thing we go by is looks. <laughs> we don't want Tim Scott. <laughs> he look like a, a, a Albert a, a Bill Cosby character in the out, Fat Albert. Can't y'all just go and paint that dude and push him on? <laughs> oh y'all got these stringy haired white women, and I ain't dissing the stringy haired white women, but it's just a fact. So uh, mm-hmm. to Jim Crow or Mister Jimmy Crow and Mister Uncle Sam, y'all stay in bed together. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Mm-mm. We just know how to move. Right. 
Væk, 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 ja. Hvad er masterclass, gør? Det er ikke en ride now. On a white horse. <laughs> yeah, that's what they want. That's how they imagine it. On a white horse. Well, which one got the dress on? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> who the husband, who the wife? I think Jim Crow got the dress on. Uncle Sam, who he is. <laughs> yeah, he just going to take it. <laughs> I tell you not to do that, Sammy. <laughs> well, we'll keep it going. We'll uh, okay. sobriety check. She some of y'all folks need the police behind you. But uh, some of these folks now, this, this one of them folks we, I, we, we ain't talked about in a long time because I just refuse to talk about it. Oh, I don't care what the code I say. Now, because Sharon Rock said a long time ago, cause she got warrants. She said she ain't turning herself in. Oh, okay. She ain't doing it. Been a few months. She's still been on live. Uh, now, her dumb ass, the sobriety chick, she takes herself down to Blue Face uh, Day in Court. Got a kid with her. Guess she thought she was covered and safe. Ain't nobody thinking about it. Mm. Yeah, a few minutes later, she came out in the handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you drunk little girl. Drunk, hey. <laughs> you gonna, you gonna, how you wrong gonna, with you? How you gonna taunt the people on social media? You gonna taunt them <laughs> and then think that they ain't gonna do shit about it? They were just waiting. I'll just wait. Shit come to us. Yeah, puffy son taunted the feds, and what came out next? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Let me tell y'all, so the police pity. They don't forget. Mm-mm. They don't forget Them some of the pettiest Motherfuckers around they, That's that's part of uh, On the application Are you petty How petty are you <laughs> Exactly hmm. Big big petty <laughs> You might be a sergeant <sighs> First day Well let's see Anybody sick as this guy Now this guy paid a, a IG model $4,500 Just to tell him He's handsome Oh my god He needed that We need to add it the segment Whether you uh, <laughs> Drunk Not drunk Or high Girl cracked out <laughs> he, he He wanted that confidence From a beautiful lady Just to say he's handsome He must be ugly as fuck But he, Yeah Cause he paid for it Right <laughs> if I, I'd have told you handsome If you gave me 4500 Right I tell you what bro You could have gave me uh forty four ninety five. <laughs> I'd have told you bro from one brother to another brother, you're a good looking nigga. I want uh, even forty four hundred. Oh, twelve four thousand over here. Thirty nine, thirty eight, thirty seven, thirty five, thirty five, thirty five. So three thousand dollars. We'll use a handsome nigga. I ain't got nothing on you, bro. <laughs> right. I don't know what they're gonna do with you. I'm dead. How cool man. you is? Go on, get it. <laughs> Why they do it? Go on, get it. It's Shane. Go on, get it. <laughs> <laughs> Change <laughs> <laughs> Two snaps Around the world Right <laughs> Boy you fierce <laughs> It's raining me <laughs> uh, Was that it I guess that was, that was my I don't know Maybe I dropped one I don't know Whatever Oh well Maybe I'm drunk That's a bride to check out <laughs> Shit <laughs> I just be looking at all this other stuff coming up, man. I, right. Man, the WNBA, everybody, you know, Steven, they old oh, loose head ass. Always got something to say. That's one of the hating this motherfuckers on media I've ever seen in my life. But it won't speak for black people. <laughs> they all end up roar because Caitlin Clark was not put on Team USA for Paris. Why should she be? She shouldn't have been. What has she done? So. She's won nothing, and and, and I listen to these arguments. So my question she is: Was she four games in? Yeah. My question is: Jesus, are you trying to win the Olympics, or are you just trying to be popular? Yeah, I think you're trying to win. Yeah, I think you go for the gold. She's not even the best player. She's not to me. She's not one of the top ten people in the league yet. She's not. She had one good outburst in the game. Yeah. But uh, for everything she, else, what are they? One in five or six? Yeah. She said they woke up the monster in her. Good. I want to see better play. Now you a play. Yeah. But no, she's not good enough to be on that team right now. And it's no knock to her. This is her first year. A lot of them ain't going. Yeah. Who you going to set down? Asia? Right. I mean, that the roster is stacked. Yeah. And that's cool. Sabrina, you going to sit down there? Hell, you could just send the Vegas Aces over there. Right. She is not good enough. And I mean, it's no, like I said, it's not putting her down. She no. is not ready. She'll get there. Right. Eventually. Yeah, she's just not ready. Now you need to come show that monster, man, for you. That's what I'm talking about. Let, let's see this monster. 
Let's see the same monster I see now. They, they got every excuse in the world. Oh, she's not gay. They're hating on her because she's straight. Oh, marketability. Stephen A's, I say, marketability. Da, da, da. Listen, that, Man, that, he talking about some that's, that's, that's the dumbest fucking comment I've ever heard. He's an idiot. Like, Marketing. dead ass. Who is at the Olympics to market? The Olympics is, is like the prize possession itself. You are honored. People fight to get on that team. It's I mean, not about anyway. marketing. She you ain't, ain't, Ma- she ain't Michael Jordan. Itself. She ain't Michael Jordan. Thank you. And the league and these other leagues around the world have come up so much. She's not going to walk up there and over there and see herself on a big ass billboard on a building like Michael Jordan. Right. It's not the same. <sighs> Like I said, to me, man, some of you talking about some you trying to grow the women's game. If she's doing that already, what are the Olympics gonna do for that? The only thing that's gonna grow the women's game is if it's sustained. It has to be sustainability. This exciting. She came in. Honestly, twenty five. They're breaking years, some records. Yeah, yeah. twenty five years. They still baby steps but, to that. Let's see if the attendance stays for two, three years. Let's see how jersey Demon. sales go. Things like some, that. Talking about some she can, you can put her name on a jersey and she'll outsell the top five. Okay, because she's a fashion trend right now. Yeah. Sustainability is what and, puts you in the, in that top tier. And how much of them five they even sell? I don't know nobody with a WNBA jersey. <laughs> Crazy. So. <laughs> yeah, man. Like I said, it's all good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got every excuse in the world now. Right. A black girl now. Yeah, and it, it, it gets on my nerves because y'all don't want to get Asia no no prop. And, and Asia, Asia is doing is a, a thing monster this year. I mean, a monster. Two time what back to back going yeah. for three. Who yeah. gonna stop? And the thing about it is, is yeah, they lost a couple of games here, but they're not even at full strength yet. This mm. still got a couple people hurt, and, and Asia is holding it down. What she's supposed to do. Man, I guarantee you, playoff time come, ain't yeah. nobody gonna want to deal with that. Well, there have been so many sisters who've won uh, championships in high school, college, yeah. pros. Kaylin ain't did none of that. Mm-mm. None of it. So, I mean, it's a true blessing for her to come out of it the way she has. And don't get me wrong, I'm never that. The girl's got skills. And it's only because she's white. She's got she's got skills to play. Yeah, but the thing about it is, is come on, man, let that girl grow into. She's the Larry star. Bird of the league. Yeah, she yeah. white. Let her grow into her star. Yeah, because there's black girls out there she can't do a damn thing with. No, but she could. She could spot up and hit a shot. Yeah. But that three is something where you live by, or you die by. Yeah, but I'm well. I and unless you're going to be a hundred percent shooter every night from three, a lot of times you're a liability. I can't I can't say she told you like Larry Legend because Larry Legend did some other things. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying as far as white, right, right. You know, but Larry really could dig in and play. Mm-hmm. Larry could play. Some, like he could dig his ass off. Larry, yeah. Larry had moves. Yeah, and, and y- y- y'all, all the people that's with her, y'all the ones that's rushing her. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and uh, well, that's what I love about Let her. Let her prove herself and play. She, she's humble about it, and which that's how she was supposed to take it. Okay, I didn't get selected. Now, now watch what I do. That's how that, you supposed to do. That's how you do it. Do it. Yeah, that's how you become great. <coughs> that's that stuff legends are made of, right? That's there. how Michael Jordan is. Yeah, that's the stuff legends are made oh, of. Oh, you you won MVP of the league. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm gonna get the championship. Got you. <laughs> got you. You got that. I'm gonna get this. Mm-hmm. So that's how you do. Let her come back and win the championship and yeah. say, "Hmm, I told y'all." Yep. Shut up. Well, uh, reports are the Lakers are actually not interested in taking Bronny James at number 17. <laughs> Is it the end of the King's reign in L.A.? Because that's what it's going to mean. Unless he can stay on until the second round or whenever, and they may take a chance somewhere after. But see, the thing is, like the scouts are saying, a lot of teams may take a chance on him if he's willing to be a two-way player, you know, going to the G League. He's and already there. said that he's not. He, he ain't trying to do it. Because right. he, he goes to the G League, he's not going to get out. Because there's already players better than him in the G League. He'll never get out. So, basically, you're trying to circumvent the system to the yeah. point where you get all your training in the NBA instead of doing what everybody else does. Under daddy. Yeah. Just like daddy. Yeah, I mean that's the part that I don't agree with it. But the thing about it like, is, is, I don't like it. It ain't it ain't bad if a team sit there and sign yeah. on to it. I mean, because that's their prerogative. Yeah. If they want to waste their pick on that. That's fine. I I like the kid, but he's yeah. not ready. If, if I'm the dad, I'm not mad at it. But let me tell you, this is where I, I've seen it and it affects it, and I hate it because you could 
put your kid in a little league team now. Dad's the coach. Mm-hmm. He gonna play the shit out of his son. Right. His son, he gonna be the quarterback or the running back. But you know, your kid and other kids, I got way more talent. Absolutely. He'll never change him. Yep. And that's that. That's that shit where you don't yep. you don't care about the team. You care about your son, which is okay. But then you don't need the coach. Yep. I say you. I mean, just take yourself out the equation. Then. Mm-hmm. You can coach your son on the side. So yeah, yeah man, that's what it is though. But uh, <laughs> speaking of some more nonsense, man, Fifty Cent goes on and he says, you know, he went up there to DC, taking his trip around the grounds and hugging on all the congressmen and all that. <laughs> I tell you, when these niggas, <laughs> he had some issue that wasn't even an issue to some bull. <sighs> I just, whatever. So he says that black men identify with Trump because they have RICO charges. Now, a lot of people want to run to his defense like he Trump. He ain't mean what he said. He being sarcastic. That's 50 Cent. Right. I understand that. But here's the thing. Here's what's wrong with it, bro. This ain't no time to be sarcastic. Right. State your position, bro. Trump. Now, if you don't have one, then shut the fuck up. Trump will never be. I don't care how many Rico charges he get. He'll never be. Because I don't know a brother with. Jail. I don't know a brother with Rico charges. <laughs> you know yeah. how serious Rico charges are. Yeah, and if you and if you do get a Rico charge, trust and believe. Don't stand next to me. <laughs> you going to jail? Trump yeah. ain't going to jail. I don't care what Rico charge. You Rico is saying you are a part of a criminal organization. Yep. What are you talking on an ongoing criminal organization? What are you What are you talking about, Fifty? Absolutely. You You peddled a little dope in New York. You ain't get no Rico charges, nigga. <laughs> the Rico is in Georgia. Now, right. see, that's where they don't want Trump to go to trial. Right. right? They pushing that thing back, trying to get rid of Fanny and everything, because mm-hmm. that's the charge. Right. And it's a state charge. <laughs> they don't want that. Mm-mm. They don't want Fanny. But yeah, Fifty, shut the hell up, man. <laughs> All y'all rappers, man, shut up. You, Amber Rose, Ice Cube, uh, Waka Flock. All y'all, y'all some sexy red boy, y'all. Oh, I, I wish I could just get man. <laughs> oh, boy, boy, boy. I tell you, well, uh, and see, y- y- y'all talk like this, and, and this was still going on. That's why I say uh, Jimmy Crow and Uncle Sam. Now, white man down there in Tennessee, everybody been looking at him as going viral because as his daughter, his white daughter coming up on the graduation stage, everybody going by shaking hands. They got a black superintendent. <laughs> he come and push this black superintendent out the way so his daughter wouldn't shake her hand, his hand. Right. Now, see, I blame the black superintendent. You know why? Right. It's too much going on. When that white boy got on that stage, put his hands on Should've me. Put down. It'd have been all bets off. Yeah. I'd have put his ass down. Should have put him down. It wouldn't have been take your hands off yeah, me. That becomes no, nah, bro. You came up on this stage and touched me. Right. That becomes self defense. I'd have been like a a, a Vietnam vet. <laughs> I'd have lost my mind. <laughs> all this stuff going on in schools and y'all let this man just jump on stage and touch me. I'm the superintendent. I blame the school district for not even trying to protect him. Man, I would have whooped that white boy ass right there. I'm telling you. I tell you, I ain't bullshitting, man. I'm telling you. Well, y'all nasty ass folks out here and I call this the sexy red disease. (laughs) (laughs) Researchers have discovered the first known sexually transmitted fungus in the United States. I call it the sexy red effect. You nasty mother. Ooh, y'all so nasty. <laughs> now you're going to name the disease that big girl. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, bro, before we go, this is a nasty one too, but this is a good nasty. Okay. So Fashion Nova has come out with a pierced nipple. Now, you know how sometimes you see girls that have a pierced nipple? Look mm-hmm. sexy. Well, if you're scared of that, they got the little nip things on the little nipple. You just put it on your nipple. <laughs> You just put on your nipple It look like you got pierced nipples I'm going to tell you I'm going to tell you Like the Joe <laughs> Chicks In my day You said man Get off my line <laughs> Get off my line Mama Mama Hang no, up on him No No Get off my line man. <laughs> Mama Hang up on him He full of that shit Hell no Alright y'all It's been a great show This nigga unlocked I can't believe it <laughs> <laughs>